All right, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about the severe weather potential going on today. And before I get started with that, I, though I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content. I do lots of videos like this, monthly forecasts, seasonal forecasts, as well as live streams. Speaking of live streams, we're going to have a live stream later today on the severe weather, probably around 3, 4, 5, 6 p.m. sometime in there. I'm going to be starting the live stream, so stay tuned for that. We will be doing live coverage with radar and showing you guys, you know, all of the threats as they're happening. So please tune in for that if you are interested. Now, we are looking at our categorical risk as of right now. And you can see in the dark green shades, we have a marginal risk here. We do see severe weather sometimes within these, but it's not really necessarily expected. So you can see there's an area there in Florida up through Georgia and South Carolina. And then an area there in the middle of the United States from Texas up through the Dakotas or South Dakota at least and then down back into Memphis Tennessee area now we're also going to take a look at our tornado risk and again this is kind of what we're talking about here in this area of Colorado uh, we see very frequent tornadoes and supercell development especially there east of Denver and north of Denver that's an area that we like to watch for tornado development usually. So in the live stream later, we will be taking a very close eye at this area for tornadoes to be developing. Also, there's an equal risk there for Wyoming, portions of South Dakota, Nebraska, and a little bit of there in um, Kansas and Nebraska as well. Now, we're going to take a look at our hail risk here, and you can see there's a 5% chance in all this brown area. So Iowa up into Wyoming, South Dakota, and then down into Texas, and New Mexico as well. And then we have a 15% chance risk there for that same tornado area, kind of Wyoming, Nebraska, Colorado, and into areas of Kansas as well. Now, wind risk is kind of the same story there for the West, the same areas that we're looking at for hail. But we do have an area there in Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. And that's kind of why they have their marginal risk because there isn't a kind of slight risk for damaging winds in that area now we're going to be taking a little look at our future cast radar here according to the hrrr model and you can see this is around 3 p.m so right around when i'm expecting to start streaming you can see not a lot happening in our expected severe weather area not a lot going on from wyoming wyoming down through colorado kansas and nebraska we are going to move on one frame to 9 p.m. though, and you can see there is some development of very strong thunderstorms there, particularly in that area in Colorado I was mentioning, but we also have some in Nebraska as well as right near there near Kearney and Glasgow, just north of you, there's this really strong cell, and then right near Garden City to your north, there is these other very strong cells. All of these could be super cells, so we are going to be on the lookout for the potential for tornadoes within all of these areas. Now, we're also going to take another look here at 11 p.m. And you can see it's kind of the same story. A lot of those strong, strong, strong thunderstorms developing there for Kansas, Nebraska, and Colorado as well. But that's it for this video. If you are in any of these areas or have an interest in severe weather, please tune into the live stream later. Again, it's going to be kind of late afternoon. I'm going to be making that. So stay tuned for that because that will be up and you can tune in and... It'll be lots of fun. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day and stay safe if you are in the severe weather today.